For six years now, I have traveled the world and I've shared just about every single moment of it with you. But this week, I hit a wall. A moment where I started to question what the future of Lost LeBlanc was. Being on the road since 2015 has taught me a lot, but the biggest travel tip I could ever share is to book your flight one way. For the dollars I may have lost in planning last minute, I have gained so much more. Booking a one-way ticket totally changes your mindset as a traveler. It opens you up to experiences, moments, and people that you meet along the way. It lets you do more of the things that you love and adapt when things are not going to plan. For too long now, I've broken my own rules and planned my trips like a travel agent. Book flights, travel day, shoot, run out of memory, credit card not accepted, call bank, edit, computer crash, upload, post, cry, <laughs> cry, and repeat again and again. And I've come to a place where I've started to fall out of love with certain parts of my business. Burnout is real. I've been here before. But it's avoidable when you slow down to ask yourself what changed. This week, it really hit me. Was I still traveling to satisfy a curiosity of the world? Or was I more traveling to stay relevant? This is not my usual video. There are no plans, no alarms, no schedules, just a one-way ticket to remind myself why I got into all this in the first place. Two flights, an overnight in a transit hotel, followed by a three and a half hour ferry. And we have finally, finally arrived in the Mantawai Islands. Oh, and another boat ride. Wow. wow. Nice to see you, dude. Nice to see you, too. <laughs> We've got a companion here. Day number one of learning to surf, such a vibe. First, I'm gonna make my way to go get a coffee because I don't do well without it. This is Carla, one of the lovely owners, and this is Imar, the other owner. Imar is giving me the surfer's initiation. I have the complexion of a piece of paper. And now, I'm ready to surf. So we have arrived in the spot and we're about to get shown up by these girls here. What's up guys? Hi. They're from Oahu. What are your names again? Kailani. Lily Kai. Ocean Love. Ocean Love, amazing. <laughs> and Rachel. Sorry Rachel, but uh, you don't have a Hawaiian name. <laughs> no, will you girls give me a Hawaiian name? I need a better name now. <laughs> these girls have been surfing a lot through all of Oahu and they say that these waves... 100 times better. 100 times. Million times better. Million times better. Apparently okay. some of the best waves in the world. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Oh, my gosh. Yep, that rocked the boat. <laughs> I like how I check my pockets midair. An experience. I have never caught so many waves in my life. This thing is as good as a wave machine in nature. And the instructor has been so helpful to just get me up and going on some of the waves. And instructor Un, gotta give credit to the man. <laughs> the legend. He's probably one of the main reasons we're getting every wave. If I were to say that I'm tired, that would truly be an understatement. I can only compare this to like my first day snowboarding. You spend the whole day falling on your butt, it's sore, there's a few moments of glory, but it's a lot of hard work. Today, hands down, my best surf day ever. This has been an unbelievable experience. What's your favorite part of today? Surfing. Nice, me too. Three, two, one, go! Woo! Woo! Let's go back over there! 
The temperature is just perfect. In the water, out of the water. Wow, what an incredible night. Good morning, Surf Coach Un. How are you doing? Good, good. Good to see you, man. It's day three here of trying to learn the waves. So this morning we're being joined by Imar. When Imar first came over here to the Montawais, he actually had to take a 12-hour overnight boat with rats. It was a horrible, horrible experience. What made you want to come here to the Montawais? Yeah, get some perfect waves. Today we're going out with Aymar. He's gonna be showing us everything that he knows. He was actually a surf instructor in Spain and he ran a surf school for a few years, so I think we're in pretty good hands. Catching a nice wave. Is it almond milk cappuccino? So salty. Whew. You have to end your day with a good wave. How did I look? You looked really good. And how was your surf day? It was really great. I had a really great small waves, and I only left with one wound. Actually, a few, but this is the worst one. So I'm, I'm really happy. We did get some bad news this morning, though, guys. There's a storm heading toward us, and it's not one of those overnight storms. This could be what we're looking at for the rest of the trip. Really? Right now they're looking pretty spot on with their predictions. Surfing is actually such a badass sport and you don't realize it until you actually go out and do it. Un, today's wave, I was thinking of you while I was on it. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome back to paradise. Let's hope for the little sun today. Namaste. Ruby and I are here for a little wellness retreat. It is now time to begin acro yoga. I'm being forced to do acro yoga, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Well, I'd say we absolutely nailed that routine. What do you think, Ruby? For sure, you were the star of the routine. I know. Ruby's already great. I need to do some work. It's 9 p.m. We are just about to get ready for bed because we're doing an early morning surf. Gonna get up at like 7 and listen to this. With that, I'm gonna be sleeping really well tonight. I'll see you guys in the morning to hopefully finally get some good weather. Why? <laughs> Why? Good morning. Good morning. It is day four of surfing and we're starting to see a little bit of sunshine which is all I can ask for right now and we've had some really good news. We originally thought a storm was coming. Sounds like the storm is actually starting to head in a different direction so that's literally the best thing I could have ever heard. Sunshine. Yay! appreciation for the weather after trying to become a surfer. After spending 15 minutes coating myself in sunblock to hear that there's not much of a wave today, I feel like I got stood up on a date after getting all beautiful. The wind, the rain, everything is just working against us right now. I asked Owen, our surf instructor, how things look today and he said, better than nothing. Inspiring, isn't it? We're not ready to leave yet. We've still got time. Keep those fingers crossed real damn tightly because I will be really disappointed if I leave this place without having one of those crystal blue water days because this is what the mental eyes are famous for. I'm just gonna get in there. I'm just gonna work with what I've got. Absolute fail. Disaster. <laughs> the currents are so strong. You sit on your board for like two seconds and you're way out there and it takes way more energy to come in. But I think maybe we'll be able to get better luck in the mangroves, which is a protected area. Yeah. I've been dying to go see the mangroves, so let's yeah. go paddle boarding. Yeah. 
So we were just about to get dropped off on this little spit of land and then out come eight dogs. All right, you go first. I'm good. I think I can reason with them. I bring good vibes. Hey guys. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, I'm not willing to challenge them. <laughs> I'll have to run this experiment another day. Don't forget to smash the like button, all right? Wow, it's a wild croc. So cool. These clear bottom canoes are by far the best canoes out there. To be able to see what's beneath the surface. It's also kind of trippy because when you look up, everything looks like it's passing by really slowly, but then you look below and you're like, all right, Ruby's actually working pretty hard. Hey. Could be harder though. How am I gonna go do this? <laughs> Ruby forgot to hold on to the kayak. We had a conversation for a minute or two and uh, oh, there it is. The dials are gonna get me. Look at this little hermit crab. Not a stress in the world. Life can be so simple. Just be a hermit crab. It's time to go back to the resort. Uh, go, Jake. Uh, 300,000 rupiah, yeah? <sighs> okay, boss. We took Awera's clear bottom canoe and we found ourselves here, the dreamiest palm tree you've ever seen. This makes for such a beautiful little photo spot. Just an evening of Polaroids, some music. Sunset is going off in the distance and uh, Ruby is not gonna get us back on time if she doesn't hurry up. There it comes. One of my favorite things in the world is when you're at a barefoot living style of resort. You know, you come back from surfing, you go get a massage, you're without your shirt, you're just relaxing. And I love the fact that in the public areas, like here in the dining area, you can leave your laptop, your whatever, and you know it's gonna be safe. It's a very community-based feeling resort. Since the beginning of time, the Mentawai Islands have been inhabited by a series of tribes. The average living situation here is very, very simple. Most people do not have running water, most people don't even have electricity. But what's so incredible about this place right here, you have unbelievable comfort from electricity, running water, and you've even got that machine right there. But I think for me, one of the coolest things about the room is just the styling. And that's what makes this room seriously so incredible. The prices for the resort generally start around 175 USD per person per night. And in my opinion, it's seriously unbeatable value. There is nowhere else like this on the island that will give you this level of comfort and be able to experience one of the world's best surf destinations. And now we're gonna go for a little stretch for today. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm ready. Okay. Guys, this is Sagara. He's gonna lead us through some yoga today. <laughs> It was like a different type of challenge. I've never had these moves. And it went from raining to beautiful sunshine. Mm -hmm. It is 5.30 a.m. No excuses. It's time to go get my coffee and then we're gonna make today the best day yet. We're gonna get some serious waves. All of this waiting has led up to this moment. We have a beautiful moon. I want to say it's going to be a beautiful day. Forecast doesn't really say that, but I don't believe the forecast. Today is going to be the start of non-stop sunshine. Buggy. Buggy. That does not look beginner friendly at all. Well, we can't complain about not having waves today. So these waves are not for us. <laughs> these are like truly world-class professional waves, but I'm gonna do my best to try to get in there and get some shots. I've never shot surf videography or photography, so if I don't come back, it's because I didn't know where to be, and I got slammed. There's so many of them, and they're so big. See you guys in a bit, I hope. Please be careful.
he was like over there where all the big waves were crashing. How's well, it going? It's about as hard as it looks. Your job is literally to get smashed by the wave, otherwise you're not getting the shot. It was pretty bad. At one point I got pulled down a second time, like two waves. I literally have no idea what I captured. When you're down there and the wave hits, it's just like whitewash. You can't even see it with your mask. I have no idea what's up and down. All right. So we've come back for a quick little bit of food. Got myself a mango bowl here. And then I'm gonna be joining out the other guys, the pros who are gonna be hitting some serious waves. And I'm gonna try this time to get better shots. Uh, I've actually come a little bit better prepared. The issue was I was trying to shoot with a wide lens, which literally meant I had to be next to the surfers. This time I have a bit of a better understanding. So we'll see how it goes. I'm just really hoping I don't get destroyed and my camera doesn't get destroyed. This is Mai Kai. Mai Kai is from Oahu, so you already know he's gonna be good, but he's actually a professional sponsored surfer at 15. Oh, Pretty wild. Cool. Good luck out there. See ya. I'll be close behind. I got destroyed. The guys warned me, they're like, stay by the buoy, do not try to come over here. And I was by the buoy, and then I got bored, and I was like, ah, I'll be fine, I'm a good swimmer. So I went over there, and with the housing in one hand, with my mask on, I tried to keep up with the surfers, and I was shooting in between sets of giant waves coming crashing down, and then I just got absolutely pitted, dude. Ride the barrel and get pitted. At one point though, for real, I was just like fighting for my life to get back to the boat with my camera and I ended up losing the mask. The mask got sucked away when I got hit by this huge wave, never to be seen again. But I got some cool shots and it was all worth it. That might be the last time we see the sun here, but honestly, it doesn't matter at this point. I've gotten the best surf day of my life. I've gotten some amazing rest and some amazing time to just be with Ruby and I. Any more surf and sun that we get from here on out is just bonus. It has been over a week now that this has been home. It's been a much needed break to get away from the office, from working, and focusing more on just being here. And while it hasn't been the perfect surf retreat, I definitely learned a thing or two. Caught a few waves. Drank really good coconuts. We drank a lot of, you drank a lot mm -hmm. of really good coconuts. So, with the way this video started, you might be wondering what's going to happen with this channel. Is this the end of Lost LeBlanc? And the truth is, I don't really know the answer to that. I still enjoy thoroughly what I do. I do. I really love it. But I can tell you one thing. I am not the kind of person that will stay any longer than I need to. When I'm no longer moving forward, when I'm no longer growing and learning, being challenged, I get bored. And when I get bored, I have no interest in continuing on anymore. It doesn't serve its purpose. And while I'm definitely nowhere near the end of being able to become a better filmmaker, storyteller, and so much more, I feel the need for evolution. And I don't know if that's happening next week or whether it's happening in six months from now. But one thing's for sure, I'm looking for that new zesty challenge. I want something that gets me super excited. And, um, you know, that might take a little while to figure out what it is. I might change genres. Maybe I'll step foot into posting less regularly but doing high octane documentaries. Just five minutes ago, I got off a phone call with somebody who wants to pitch me and a concept that I had to Netflix. And while this is early stages, I'm not celebrating by any means, it's exciting to me. These are the experiences and opportunities that give me so much opportunity for growth and reignite my passion for all of this. And passion is the main reason I quit my nine to five in the first place. So, all that to say, I also recognize that just because something's great doesn't mean it can't be better. And what was great at day one won't always be great. Sometimes you're going to have to change things, adjust and adapt. I feel like in some regard, this is my time to figure out that next thing for me. And it's funny to say that when my channel's hitting an all-time high, but this was never about money in the first place. One thing is for sure though, this week off was much needed. To be able to take my mind off of deadlines, responsibilities, and everything 
everything else that comes with running a business. This has been a carefree week of good food, amazing company, and a beautiful, beautiful place in the world. If you want to experience one of the most beautiful parts of this planet, then I highly recommend coming to Oueda. I have nothing but amazing things to say about this resort and the people that run it. This place is a must. Guten Morgen. Well, it is our final morning, and that is our final boarding call. <laughs> I'm, I can't. That is the smallest airport runway I've ever seen in my life. I don't think that x-ray has been turned on or working since uh, 1983. Look at this thing, so good. They're measuring my weight. With a small plane, you don't exactly have a ton of excess capacity. <laughs> Wearing a backpack with lots of heavy electronics. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's the kind of airport where nobody cares if you bring a water bottle on board. God bless. Uh, you made it through. I'm so scared. Woo! <laughs> In my career of travel, this is, uh, I think, the second time I've had a plane like this. Uh, did you service it last week? Yes, no problem. No problem, nice. All aboard Sushi Airlines. Don't worry, baby, he's got a perfect track record in the simulators. Over three flights under his belt. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> they make announcements. Airport. It's gonna be a little bit bumpy in Padang. Yeah. Okay. The weather is a little bit wet there. Okay. It's gonna be interesting. This is the one flight where I'm going to put my phone on airplane mode. <laughs> Welcome to Padang. Thank you, Captain. That was a great flight. Very fun, very quick. Definitely yeah. recommend. Okay. That is door-to-door -door service. I wish all airlines were like this. <laughs> this is the most Indonesia moment ever. <laughs> when will this be over? But well, we're making it back to Bali. We got one more plane to go. I'm excited to see the puppies. Me too. Ladies and gentlemen, we will shortly be landing. We just got a text message from the dog sitter and she's like, hi guys, please do not touch the dogs when you first come in the door. Do not give any attention to Koda or Kaya. Just wait for them to calm down. If they jump on you, do not give them any reaffirmation. She's like, I'm trying to teach them to be calm when people come through the door. And then there's what we did. <laughs> we did the exact opposite. It's time for my favorite pizza, Arte pizza. And on that note, I'm gonna end this video here. It's been a fun journey home and I couldn't be more excited. If you guys wanna see more of Indonesia, I can't wait to share that with you. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video. It actually really helps get these videos out there to more people. Let's get lost again in the next one.